Hey guys, this is the Grey Jedi and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be doing a spoiler review for the first episode of The Mandalorian. In my first review video, I was very vague so I didn't spoil anything for anybody. Now I will be going into depth of what I have been talking about in the previous review. If you guys might be interested in a spoiler review for The Mandalorian Episode 2, let me know in the comments down below. For this spoiler review, there is going to be Mandalorian gameplay from the game Star Wars Battlefront 2 in the background. Okay, now let's get into the spoiler review. In that first scene, it has a Mandalorian in this old western gangster environment. I thought the scene was going to copy the cantina scene, but it didn't. I, it tried something new and I liked it. When he was in that bar or whatever that place was, he walks in, kills and beats up some people within seconds. Then he gets the bounty. I really like this because they made him a bounty hunter that has his eyes on the prize and doesn't play as a good guy. I really liked how he uses carbonite freezing to freeze his bounties. I really want him to be the baddest and the best bounty hunter of them all. I even want him to be better than Cad Bade from the Clone Wars TV series. I also like how they mentioned his Viscar Mandalorian armor. If you guys didn't already know already, that Biscar metal can deflect laser bolts and lightsabers can't cut through it. Which makes sense because that metal is very rare and is only found on Mandalore. If you guys didn't know already, Mandalorians are fearsome warriors that go toe to toe with anything or anybody, including Jedis or Siths. That is why they have a lot of cool gadgets and good armor. I also liked how they showed his different Mandalorian gadgets. For example, I love that they gave him a flamethrower. I really wish he had a jetpack, but maybe he will get one in the future. When the Mandalorian walked in to get information for the bounty, I really liked how he stood up to the stormtroopers and showed his Mandalorian colors. That brought us into his job and what it entails. He has to bring this person or creature in dead or alive. He gets paid more if he brings it in alive. The only thing he knows about is that it, the creature is 50 years old. That brings us to the point where he walks into his home clan. We get to see a glimpse of the Mandalorian symbol and we get to see him earn another piece of Biscar armor that went on his shoulder. After getting his extra piece of armor, he told his clan leader about the job and the reward of the of more metal. Then he left for the job and as he's going on this journey he meets the creature that is willing to help him. He has heard the stories of the Mandalorians and what they can do so he helped him so that he could restore peace to the valley. When meeting this person that will help him he taught the Mandalorian how to ride this creature. I really like this part of the show because it showed that this character is not perfect and that he still has a lot to learn. This gave him character development and this surprised me. I did not expect Disney Star Wars to do that, especially after watching the sequel trilogy. When continuing his journey for the bounty, he runs into another bounty hunter, IG-11, who was on the same job. And no, the bounty hunter droid is not IG-88, it's IG-11. A lot of people are getting them too confused. Anyways, they decide to team up and split the bounty. They take out all of the guards and find the 50 year old creature. The creature ends up being this little in this little round floating crater. They open it up and it's Baby Yoda. No one knows the name of that species so everyone is calling it Baby Yoda. From our knowledge that species age, ages very differently and it's very rare. This is only the third time we see this type of species. We see Yoda, Yaddle, and now this one. IG-11 was going to kill the creature for the bounty, but right before he did, the Mandalorian shot him and killed him. It was a really good first episode. It was a lot to take in, but the creators did a good job. I really liked the character development and the team up between the two bounty hunters. Although it was good, it brought up a lot of questions that need to be answered, but I am sure they will be answering them as this series, series continues. 
Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and tap the notifications bell if you guys like this type of content. I should be making a Mandalorian episode 2 non-spoiler and spoiler review, so look out for those future videos. I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. This is the Great Jedi. See you later, and may the Force be with you, always.